Hello, friends. Welcome to Storytime with Sai. David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. When David gets in trouble, he always says, "No, it's not my fault." I didn't mean to. Look, he's knocking the lamp off. It was an accident. Look, there's a hole in the window. Do I have to? I forgot. My dog ate my homework. I couldn't help it. Dickens Elementary School. I was hungry. Doggy yums. He's eating dog biscuits, but he likes it. It slipped. But Dad says it. Why is he even eating soap? Excuse me. No, it wasn't me. Yes, it was me. I'm sorry. I love you, Mom. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is. Where David said, "I love you, Mom." No, David, by David Shannon. David's mom always said, "No, David." No, David. No, David. No. No, no, no. Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. Settle down. Stop that this instant. Put your toys away. Not in the house, David. I said no, David. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where where David wanted to get a cookies, but his mom found him. Duck on a bike by David Shannon. One day, down on the farm, Doc got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike. He thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Doc rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, cow," said Duck. "Moo," said Cow. But what she thought was a duck on a bike. That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. "Hello, Sheep," said Duck. "Ba," said Sheep. But what she thought was he's gonna hurt himself if he's not careful. Doc was riding better now. He rode past Dog. "Hello, Dog," said Duck. "Woof," said Dog. 
Oh, I hate that was. That is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat said. Duck. Meow said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse said. Duck. Nay said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode toward Chicken. Hello, Chicken said. Duck. Cluck cluck said. Dick, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat said. Duck. Meh," said Goat. But what he thought was, "I'd like to eat that bike." Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. "Hello, pigs," said Duck. "Oink," said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, "Duck is such a show off." And Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, mouse," said Duck. "Squeak," said Mouse. But what he thought was, "I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck." Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Look at all the animals. They're all looking at that big of the looking at all those bikes. What do you think they're going to do? Even ducks looking. What are they going to do? I think the goat is going to eat the bikes or maybe they're all going to ride the bikes. Let's find out. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and And around the barnyard, this is fun. They all said, "Good idea, Duck." Look, the mouse couldn't fit on any of the bikes, so the mouse is riding the bike with Duck. And look, there's a bike for two people for the pigs. And look, the goat is eating the basket of that bike. Look, and they're all pedaling and having so much fun. Then they put all the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. Look at the end. The duck wants to ride a tractor. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where Duck was riding the bike while standing on the seat, and he was looking above those pigs and saying hi to them. Here's Miss David by David Shannon. At Christmas time, everyone always said, "No, David." Look, David is holding coal. No peeking. No snitching. Those are not toys. I don't think David is supposed to play with all those ornaments. Santa's watching, David. Be patient. I don't think David can be patient in that long line. Do you? Hurry up! I think now it's Santa's turn to be patient. Wow! Let's check out David's list. It looks so long. It says bicycle, fire engine. Spaceship, and now let's look over here. T- 
tank, parachute, Bigfoot, candy, and I can't read over there, and sled, suit of armor, Ferrari, I think he's going to get a toy Ferrari, he can't get a real one, it, he can't even drive, lightsaber, I don't think he should get a lightsaber, big dog, Rocket and his list keeps on going. Maybe it even touches the floor. Na naughty list, naughty list, naughty list. Daisy. Santa's gonna bring you a lump of coal. I think David threw a snowball and broke someone else's window. Don't start yet. Seat your grandmother. No yawning at the dinner table. That's the wrong fork. Sit up straight. Don't reach. Put your napkin in your lap. Get your elbows off the table. No, David. You may not open one early. If he opens one early, he... He will know what pre what present it is, and when he and when he wakes up on Christmas morning, he has one present less. Go to sleep, David. I don't think David is getting any sleep. He's looking out the window to watch to see if Santa is coming. No Christmas for you, David. Look, David has a letter. Dear David, sorry, you are naughty. Love, Santa. And look, there's a lump of coal. David looks very sad. Wake up, David. You are dreaming. David looks so excited. I think he's going to open all his presents on the next page. Yes, David, it's Christmas. David got a bike. He got so many more presents. And look over there. He's eating cookies. And over there, he's checking in a stocking. And over there, he's reading a book. And his letter is, Dear David, Merry Christmas. Love, Santa. The end. What is your favorite part of the story? My favorite part of the story is where David has such a long list for Santa Claus.